Hi everyone, this is Michelle Meany with Spectrums of Humanity Counseling. I just wanted to get on and give you a little tip. This, if you hear any like tick, tick, ticking, it's my husky. He's super excited that I'm home now. So I know it's a little distraction, distracting, but it's also part of my norm. So I'm sharing it with you. Um, just wanted to give you a little tip for some of your interactions. Uh, this is a tool that I use and I find it really helpful. It, I use it in therapy and I just use it in my personal practice. And it helps me take a situation because our brains do lots of things. Our brains like to fill in the blanks. Our brains tend to lie to us so often. And there's all these thoughts that are just going on inside of our head. Um, some of them are useful, some of them are not. But um, ultimately, our brain wants to keep us alive. It really doesn't care half the time if we're thriving. It just wants to know primally that we're alive. And so I'm sure you know that that battle of thoughts, we've all struggled with it a little bit, some of us more than others, but those negative thoughts that come up, and a lot of times it happens with our interaction with others. And our brain does this wonderful thing, and it fills in the blanks, and it kind of starts um, creating the script of what we think the situation actually is based on all our experiences, based on what our brain knows. So when someone else does something or says something, it gets filtered through our own experiences, our own neural pathways, and our brain comes up with this story sometimes. And I think it's really important to know this, for one, and for two, to bring it back to yourself instead of spiraling with the brain story that it's created about another person. And what happens sometimes is we start accusing. We're like, oh, well, you must have been doing this, or then a lot of blame comes. So one tool I like to use, it's called the story I'm telling myself. So that really takes that responsibility back right here to me, right to my own brain that's making all these connections. And so if there's a struggle going on and my brain is making these narratives or these conclusions that really it has no idea if it's true or not, I can say, okay, I can take a pause for one, take a breath, and say, the, to the story I'm telling myself is, and being really clear on what I'm telling myself, what my brain is telling me, what's going on on my side of the net. And this can help with communicating with the person, the other person. So the story I'm telling myself is, you don't love me because you didn't answer your phone. Or you didn't do the dishes like you said you would. The story I'm telling myself is my needs don't matter to you or whatever it is, here's some examples. So let's see, another one would be, we'll use Dexter for example. Uh, you didn't help clean up the dog like I asked you to. The story I'm telling myself is you expect me to do everything in this household and you have no value for my worth at all. So. Think about your own life. Think about your own conflicts. Think about what's going on with you and really notice when your brain's coming in with that story and use this tool. Stop. The story I'm telling myself is this. And then that tool can help you communicate with the person. Because often they'll be like, oh my gosh, that is so not it at all. I just got carried away with my video game or I just got carried away with something else or I, I didn't know it meant that much to you. Or I certainly didn't know it meant that something so so deep in about your identity. So use it, it's helpful. Thank you, have a wonderful Monday.